Well, it rained last night, so looks like I got my leak test. And I think nothing is leaking. No drips on the bottom there. To get these pipes to be straight, I had to stuff some I don't know, metal stuff in there. They were very bent, and I'm hoping that when I pull these out, the fiberglass will keep the tube straight. I hope. Oh, good job. That's pretty good. It's still a bit of a curve, but I can see clear through to the other side. I'm gonna have my pedals right about there. This is the gear I've been working on for that. The other one there. Kind of right there. For these pipes to leak, the water level has to be way up here, which it should never be. Actually, the motor one's even higher. Ah, when driving forward, no water's going to come up these tubes because everything's going to be moving that way. So it might even suck air through, which I'm wondering about. Like, is it good to suck air through there and aerate the propeller? Or do I need to kind of seal it up enough that not much gets down? Um, anyway, the, uh, the only time water is going to come up is if I'm either parked and just stupidly overload the boat. Or if I'm reversing real fast and water starts shooting up. So I'll have to make sure I don't reverse that fast. I'll just make the motor so it only goes forward. And reversing will be pedals only. This is the piece I cut out of the bottom there, or there, I don't know, one of them. Check out the cross section on it. It's so thick at the bottom. That's a good thing. Because now if I beach the boat or, you know, accidentally scrape it on some rocks or something, I know this can take a bunch of damage before it actually gets through. Not that I'm planning to run aground or anything. Just nice to know if I accidentally do. It's you know, not the end of the boat. Well, hopefully. All right, what's next? I need to put a cover on up here and a wall there and then a wall that like it's a chair back there and a cover. Let me go look at my drawing. There's my old drawing and I made a new one too. It's a bit of details about how the propellers are going to come out. I'll make a plastic roller bearing in here, put a couple holes so water can get through. Anyway, I'll worry about that when I flip the boat over. All right, I think First, I'll put this, I guess, floor in here. It'll hold up the motor. And then I guess I'll stuff down here with styrofoam probably and just make it a sealed chamber and forget about all the messy fiberglass I did in there. <laughs> so I need a wall there, part of the seat, and this. And then I can make this top part. So I still have to make this come up to about there and then it comes down. So yeah, I'll get everything down here done and then do that part. This is the mold I'm going to use for the, like the lid of the boat up here and back there. And I was thinking I could use a piece of it to put in back here and either have it, you know, tip like that or like that. The good thing is if I get it in like that, because this is curved, you know, it's not a flat thing, it's curved like that. If I got it in there like that, then objects I put in there um, will stay drier because any water will fall down into the little crevice and hopefully that'll be too small for you know objects to fall into. I'll see if I can get it in like that. And then uh, I have this piece. This is a piece from my dome that I cut out where the windows are. 
And it's just got a gentle compound curve. Uh, so I put a piece of fiberglass in that. And this and this are both just one layer. So they're not going to be real rigid. So I'm hoping I can cut shapes out of these. Well, I'll cut a bunch of shapes out of this one. This one will pretty much stay that shape. But hopefully I can cut shapes into this and then just fit them in where they need to go and they'll be sturdy enough that I can fiberglass over them and fiberglass them right into the thing. My resin is getting kind of thick. I'm getting to the bottom of a barrel that I've had for like, I don't know, six months or something. And it's, it's getting kind of thick, so I'm, I'm having to work it in there really good to get it to soak into the cloth. I'm still getting there, but I might need to get a couple gallons at the end of fresh resin. All right, well, these two things are hardening. I'll go check how my gears are doing. I've been working on those. I made a separate video specifically about making these gears. Or two videos, I guess. They look like they're coming out pretty good. Yeah. Do a little strength test. thinking that maybe this is gonna break but I can push pretty hard on this it does not feel like those teeth are breaking either way we'll see when I test it I'm thinking when I set up the pedals I'll put this gear right in the middle that means this is gonna be a little bit offset when it comes back here and goes through to the, uh, the drive shaft it's like an eight foot long thing though, and this will only be off by uh, like a centimeter and a half. That won't affect anything. And uh, that way, oops, it'll leave me a bit of space on this side to put a bearing. Oh, wait a second. Where is that thing? Oh, kind of like this. This is a plastic roller bearing I made a little while ago. And that'll just hold the teeth together. So I'll connect this to the same thing that this rod is going through and just hold the hold the teeth tight so it won't slip as it goes around. I'll have to make sure my roller blade bearing is nice and loose. Just don't get your fingers in it. Alright, so this is the tube for the pedal drive shaft. So this will be here probably with I don't know some kind of pedally shaped things coming off the thing. Might make that out of stainless steel tubes. It's another day. And then this will go here with a shaft attached to this into a bearing here, and it'll go all the way down to a propeller at the other end. So this is gonna have to be offset a tiny bit. Yeah, that'll be fine. Then I can put a bearing right there. And then Hopefully there's still enough space. Yeah, it looks like there'll still be enough space for my feet to get through. Yeah, this looks good. Totally good. Now I'll have to make sure I'm not wearing shoelaces because they might get caught in here. I guess I could put some kind of covering. I don't know, kind of the, the, the nice thing about having this all plastic is it doesn't need a housing on it. I can just leave it open. And I just have to make sure nothing gets sucked up in between the gears. There's no reason anything would get sucked in there. No one's going to be laying down here with their hair stuck in there or something. something. Still a little soft. I shouldn't take it out yet. Stop touching it, Jamie! All right. You could just get two minutes of full sun on these. They would harden. It's not a real sunny day, though. All right. I guess while I'm waiting for that, I can trim this mess up here. I should draw a line before I start just cutting.
Oh, nice. That looks like it should be painted like a barracuda. I was just thinking about how to get this into position in there so I can fiberglass it in. I'm thinking I can draw a line on the side right where I want this to go in here. And then I can put screws in just temporarily. Then put this in there and the screws will come in from both sides. Rest that on top of the screws, fiberglass it in right up against the walls, then pull all the screws out and I'll just have to fill the little screw holes at the end. Wait a second, there's got to be a way to not put holes in my boat. Oh, hold on. All right, maybe I can just do that. Yeah. And it'll just have to hold it long enough to get it fiberglassed in. I should have gone a little bit thicker on this. That is real floppy. Wow, that was surprisingly difficult to get into position. I still need to take it out to cut the hole for that thing. All right. Got it in place. I just, oh. Did I just hear rain? Oh. Hey, just dropping leaves on here. Oh, get out of here. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was not my neatest job ever, but I got it done. Halfway through, this area over here kind of collapsed and fell in. And luckily, I had a paint roller. Stuck it in there. Things always get messy when stuff moves while applying the fiberglass. When I do the seat down here, I should make sure I secure it really well before putting the fiberglass in there. You know, I could have done a better job of this if once I got this in, I just put a few bits on the side to kind of tack it in and then waited and then did you know fiberglass over the whole thing I mean it's not that bad I just have to sand off like some little bubbles and messy stuff so it's already dry cool oh right let's get these things out You want to go swimming? No, you want to. I do want to go swimming. No, oh, you should finish that. I should finish the whole boat? Yeah. No, I'm not going to finish it today.